Hey, what's up guys? The Bear 50 Cal project has finally been completed and ready for today's game. The semi-automatic beast is powered by an external air pressure tank. It weighs 7 kilos unloaded already. That's without the air hose and the air tank that you need to run this thing. So it'll be quite a challenge lugging this heavy beast around the field. But it lacks the mobility, it makes up for in firepower. So it should give me a good chance to literally carry my weight for the team. <laughs> Having rushed the highly contested capture point in the middle of the map, the enemy team is getting ready to brute force their way through. And if we don't have enough reinforcements in time, this capture point will fall. I need to hold out for as long as possible to stop that from happening. Thank you. Yo, blow! Unfortunately, after having run out of ammo, I was forced to use my grenade and at least take some enemy players with me. With the bear not being a usual sight, a couple of players wanted to have a look at it during a quick break. <laughs> The break is over and I focus my attention to the other side of the map to link up with a friendly squad approaching the castle. But before that I need to reload my rifle. This rifle uses a 180 round metal magazine of which I can only hold one extra in my mag pouch. So for now this is the last magazine I have on me. Thank you. 
in order to regain control over this game with my team we're pushing straight towards the enemy main base in order to set up a defensive perimeter around their base keeping them locked down and allowing us to take the capture points but first we have to fight our way up there One is behind the tree. He can flank us. Where? Left? Right? Oh. Behind the big tree. Come on, quick. You lost something? I lost my knife. Your knife? If I find it, I'll, I'll give it. Oh, okay. head! Oh, I think that was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Thanks for watching guys, let me know if you want to see more of the Barrett in action, I've got some ideas to improve it even more, and check out Norwich's video of this thing performing as a stock rifle, where you can really see the difference my internal changes have made.